All right, for the uh, desktop, I wanna make a couple of corbels to hold it up. Nothing really fancy, but um, got this cut off of a two by six. I'm hoping to get two corbels out of it, but I'm not sure. I've got these knots that are right in the middle of where it's gonna mess me up because I want to maximize the length of the corbel and I'm gonna need the entire length to get two corbels out of it. So I don't know, I might only be able to get one out of this and then I'll have to uh, use another two by six. Let's see what I'm working with. Okay, I've got, it's four feet and a quarter inch. I think what I'm gonna do well, that'll give me a little bit of play with some curve. So I've got to cut some angles off of it. So that should give me two 24 inch pieces. Let's see what I can end, what I end up with. Okay, so I want to measure 24 and an eighth. That should give me 24 and an eighth in both directions. And it does. So I'll get my center and then uh, I'll cut this in half at an angle. Yeah, look at all those knots right there. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to use this. That's at a main point where I need to have a lot of strength. All right, that's what it's gonna look like. Well, not really, I'm gonna cut that out a little bit more. Okay, so I want to cut that curve out and then that will be the shape of my corbel. I also want to cut this corner off at, not this one, but the first mark which will match this one.
a little bit rough there in the middle, but uh, I can clean that up with a sander. But uh, there's my corbel. All right, after a little bit of sanding, got that all nice and smoothed out. So there's my corbel. So it'll be like this. This will be against the wall and this will support the bottom of the table. Okay, I've marked out where the corbel would go and I avoid a knot right here. Man, that whole area is nothing but knots. I guess, you know, it won't hurt to actually make it and make a determination afterwards. So I think I'll do that. All right, I got the second one made and it looks like it's exactly the same length all the way around. So there it is. I don't know, what do you guys think of that? It's not too bad over here. This side looks fine. This side's a little suspect. I'm gonna run the sander over it and see if that doesn't clean it up enough to give me more confidence in using it. All right, it doesn't look that bad. Well, it kind of does, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill those cracks in those knots with some epoxy resin. And, uh, cause I'm gonna, these are gonna be painted black anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill those and, uh, well, take it from there. Looks like I'm gonna use it. All right, I'm gonna let that dry and then uh, I'll sand it as smooth as I can get it. All right, there's my two corbels. I still need to sand this one down, but uh, I think it'll be okay. If not, I can always uh, make another one to replace it if it ever breaks. But uh, I'm gonna let this cure for a while. It's five minute epoxy. I'm going to let it cure for several hours before I sand it, and uh, then I'll get those two painted. All right, I got the corbels all painted black. And I've also got these endpoints that I've created, uh, which will help support the corbels against the wall and against the desk. And finally, I've got this last piece here, which I'm bringing along as a spare just in case I need it. We'll talk to you guys later.